When did you read your first screenwriting book and which, which book was it? Oh, my first one. I think my first one was actually um, Save the Cat, um, which was a really good book and it was about outlining. Um, if anybody wants to be a filmmaker, I would suggest that book, Save the Cat. Um, if you want to be a filmmaker, it lays out structure really well. And uh, now everything doesn't have to be formulaic, but everything's almost been done at this point. So, I mean, even when I'm making the movie now, where I'm making a, this movie about the book, Catch the White Tiger, it's, about, it's a biopic. So I go and I watch all biopics and what, what kind of biopic do I want to make? Wolf of Wall Street is very different than the founder. You know what I mean? So the blueprint's there in a way. You know, so that helps you make a blueprint, um, that book. And, um, but I feel like books were helpful. That's a very helpful book, but I felt like watching movies was the most helpful for me. You know, like my brother, who's my writing partner, will send me scripts and be like, here, you know, he just sent me like three scripts yesterday of all these biopics. I'd rather watch the movies because I'm very much, I know that a script can change so much in, compared to making the movie. And so when you're seeing it in the movie, it might be an improv, it might be whatever, but that could still be a script. It, even if maybe it wasn't a script, it could have been a script if you would have wrote it that way. So I kind of like watching the final product more than reading the script um, in the sense of learning. Uh, when it comes to like Goodfellas, reading the script or watching the movie, I'd rather watch the movie and analyze that um, than actually read the script. Um, but my brother's the opposite. So it, it, it just depends on what, how you learn. And you can get your hands nowadays with the internet. You can get your hands on so many scripts and so many things and learn so much. You can read the script for Goodfellas. You know, when I was a, when I was young, a kid, you know, you could never get your hands on a script like that unless you went to like American Film Institution or one of these big film schools that have those kind of scripts. Then you could read it and learn from it. But nowadays, I mean, people can learn so easily with the internet. It's just, it's a great thing if you want to learn. What three scripts did he send you? Uh, he, he sent me Wolf of Wall Street. I think he sent me Founders and he sent me Goodfellas. That's nice. why I brought them all up. So I think I opened Wolf of Wall Street and read the first couple pages and I was like, oh, I don't want to watch the movie. But uh, I don't know if I'll read it or not. Um, I know he's read it, but he's my writing partner. So, you know, um, I would like to read them just for fun, but I feel like now's the time to really, for me, I get more from a movie than a script because I'm a filmmaker. He's a script writer. So, you know, he's more of a script writer. He wants to just be a script writer, my brother, Charlie Ward. Um, me, I want to be a filmmaker and an actor. I don't really, I write scripts out of necessity. I don't really want to write scripts. It's like, I write them because I don't have a script, you know? And uh, I've been blessed with the fact that at least I know structure well and I get, I've watched, God, I used to watch two, three movies. I used to watch two, three movies a day when I was a kid, you know, we moved, I moved from Philadelphia when I was a kid to Roseburg, Glide, Oregon when I was 12 years old and there was nothing to do. I, would, I went from the mall and the skating rink to like, okay, there's a lot of trees around, there's nothing to do. The first neighbor is like a mile away. Well, I would just watch movies like crazy, you know, so I'd watch two, three movies a day half the time. All my free time was spent watching movies or outside running around. And uh, they, I've heard it before, you gotta watch, Ten, you got to spend 10,000 hours on your craft to really be a master at it. Well, I've easily watched, you know, over 10,000 hours of movies uh, to gotten to where I've gotten. And honestly, that's what makes you an artist in a way, because if you haven't, the things that used to shock me and impress me and um, intrigue me when I was a kid watching movies are different than what they do now, because I've seen so many of them. So it's, different you know you can think back to the time of when it did but ultimately now I have so much more of um, a library in my head of movies that now you're competing with all those as to where if I only saw seven movies this movie's amazing but it's only competing with six but if you watch 10,000 hours or whatever now I've seen Godfather and The Goodfellas and they're they're both mafia movies now they're competing against each other and so some people nowadays that and they say, oh, I, 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 this is my favorite movie, but they've never seen all these movies in the 70s and the 80s. And all. I'm thinking, well, yeah, but you don't really, you don't know your craft. I mean, you know, you haven't spent the time to watch all those movies and, and really learn your craft, you know.
Would you say Charlie's good at one part of screenwriting and you're good at the other? Or, I mean, like, how do you work together with a partner? How is that? Um, with Seth, it was different. So Seth Himes and me wrote While I Got Wasted. Charlie is writing this new movie with me. Um, two very different writing partners for me. So Seth really wanted to put the words on the page. And so um, I would basically do the outline and then he would go off and write by himself and then come bring it back to me and then I'd read it, make all these corrections on the page and be like, the scene doesn't hit this moment. It does, I need this moment. This is like, like, as an example, this is the low of the movie. Like, these guys have to turn on each other. I need a good monologue here of him turning on him and no hope, you know? And that was one of the scenes that Seth couldn't end up doing on his own, but most of them I'd give him notes and then he would go and, and make funny moments and, and do certain things and he would change it and write it. And then like the low of the movie and while he got wasted, they're on a cliffside overlooking all of Los Angeles. He could never get that scene. So I was like, okay, I'll write it. So then I wrote that scene and the jokes in it are mine, but the jokes in the other scenes are his. And so we, it's nice to write in a group. Attachment theory I wrote on my own by myself. Um, but while he got wasted was with Seth and then this new one's with my brother and my brother, my brother and me have been writing scripts since, I was, scripts since I was a child. So we have very much shorthand with each other of like thinking a lot of the same things and stuff like that. Um, but he as well doesn't, it's funny, I have not found anybody that we like to write page, words on the page together. It's kind of like he goes off and writes, I go off and write and we come together. It's, I, I've yet to find somebody that likes to write in the room together. That would be interesting. It would be a dream come true in a way. It'd be fun. Um, and I've done that with my brother. But parole officers we did together. But I acted out all the characters in the living room and he sat there and would type. So I'm like living the characters and saying what they would say and then he's like writing them down. So it's a very different process with parole officers on that. Um, but most of them, people want to write alone. You know, they want their creativity to, you know, quiet and, and all that kind of stuff. So it's just different.